As the entire world knows, we are in a pandemic right now. And this week I actually wanted to try out a food service that I haven't done in a while called Sorry I've Got Plants. They are based out of Toronto and I just wanted to support a Toronto business. Not only are they a food delivery service, they are a low waste plant based food delivery service, which is amazing. If there are people in Toronto who are watching, they do deliver to the GTA and it's a great option. And their food is very delicious. I've ordered it, I think two or three times in the past. Things are a little bit different this time around due to the current situation. So usually they would deliver it in a reusable bag, which I actually have in my room, but things are a little bit different. So I kind of want to cover that today and see what it's like now. And also just cover all the food because I did order one of everything. So I'm super excited. One thing that I really do like about Sorry I've Got Plants, which I feel like differentiates them from other delivery food delivery services is that they have an opt-in service, meaning that you are not automatically opted in for every week, which I know other food delivery services do do. They actually send you text messages every week just to remind you that you can go on their website and put in an order to opt in for the week. And that's what I did this week. Very simple, they just give you a reminder and a link to the website to shop. Um, so that's what I did. I just got my box but that's their logo don't mind my outfit okay the stamp is definitely new they didn't used to do that but i assume this is to differentiate each uh meal so i'm gonna put these in the fridge quickly and we'll cook these up later well one of them i am done work and it is the same day i just changed clothes for a video interview thing that my work is doing so i just want to go over a couple things with you guys to show you quickly hold on the four recipes are here and everything's color coded to the bag so the brown paper bags will have a black stamp a blue stamp red and green stamp and today i think i'm going to go for i'm going to go for the philly cheesesteak and once you click on it you kind of see the instructions now these are all online so that is what i like about it is that they're not really sending papers out either so it is very low waste friendly um so that was what that was a black stamp so i'm just gonna look for that in my fridge really quickly so black stamp on the thing you guys can watch me cook this forgive me for this shot i uh have no other choice. Gluten-free substitution, bring one cup of water to your rice. No, I'm all about the gluten today. These they usually take back, but right now I don't think they are at the moment because they're just dropping off boxes. Generally, you get to, I wash these out, put them back in the reusable bags and they take them back and reuse them or clean them and reuse them. Holy. I love keeping these brown paper bags, by the way, for, or actually I do return them as well sometimes if I don't rip them terribly, but, I do like to keep these to ripe up my avocados. So I don't like a lot of onions, so I'm probably going to use, use only maybe a third. And I'm going to save these scraps, always save your veggie scraps, to make a veggie scrap veggie broth. This is gold for your veggie broth. That was pretty easy, I'd say so myself. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do one piece of bread right now. Give it two minutes for now. Put the mushrooms in. Guys, this smells so tasty right now. Because I poured the sauce for the spinach and I've actually only used half the spinach. Put it in the center, some peppers, some tofu. I think that should be enough for me to be honest. So I'm just gonna close this up, squish that, push this to the side. And there you go, bon appetit. I am going to take a bite of some of this now. Mm. Very simple, clean, mm. okay. Time to take a bite into this beauty. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is bomb. That actually is so good. That is more flavor than I had anticipated. There's like this cheesiness to it. Mm. I kind of want to go eat the filling on its own. It's so good. That is it for today's meal, which is the Philly cheesesteak. Next one is going to be, I don't know. I guess I'll decide tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the next one. I honestly smashed that Philly cheesesteak last night. It was so freaking good. I was super satisfied. And it took me quite a bit of convincing to save the other half for lunch today. I had it for lunch today again. And it was just as good as yesterday's leftovers. That orange sauce I put on the bread honestly makes the sandwich and it ties all the ingredients together really well. And the onions being caramelized. So I'm very pleased with my lunch today. And I actually wanted to take some time to show you guys their other food delivery bag, which I didn't show you yesterday. This is what their food delivery bags usually look like. Obviously with the current situation, things have changed a bit. They've been delivering in a cardboard box just for safety purposes, but they are generally a very low waste food delivery service, which is why I love them and love supporting them when I can. It's actually a very large bag as well. You'll take this bag and take all the food out, put it in the refrigerator, anything that is in a plastic container like the stuff you saw last night, those plastic containers you wash and put them back in the food delivery bag for the next order you make or the next order you decide to opt into and you leave it in your front door or wherever you want them to drop it off and the next time you order from them they'll just swap the bags out they'll take the empty ones and you get a new bag with food in it they are definitely different than anything i have seen before the fact that they take back the plastic that they give to you. To me, they stand up from the rest and they're local. They're a local Toronto food delivery service, which I think you should support if you do live in Toronto. Anyways, I am starving and that just means I'm ready to open the next meal. I'm gonna film today a little bit differently. I don't want to be as long as it was yesterday. Let's try this new method out. So this is why they say mise en place because I definitely just put in the wrong sauce in the mushroom, but that's okay. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it tastes fine, guys. Well, I somehow managed to mess this up a little bit. As you guys heard earlier, I put in the wrong sauce in the potatoes and put that sauce into the mushrooms by accident because I didn't see where I put the mushroom sauce. So I just grabbed the first thing I saw. How could you get mad at potatoes? You can't, it's pretty tasty. Still tastes good. It would have been the sauce on top of the potatoes anyways. Mmm, the crunch of the cabbage. I like the parsley as well, which I added in after. Um, I forgot about that as well. It's not my game today, guys, but this is really tasty. Mmm, and the chickpeas. Let me know what you guys like in your mashed potatoes because during Thanksgiving, what I really love is mixing in corn. It's so good with mashed potatoes. So another day, another sorry I've got plants dinner. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. I'm gonna watch The Office and uh, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Day three, I just finished work and it's time to make the third meal. I'm gonna do the kale Caesar salad, I think it was.
Bon Appetit. I didn't want to put it in a fancy bowl since this bowl was already dirtied up. So I'm just gonna eat out of this mixing bowl I have here. I was actually craving salad today, so pretty pumped. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The chickpeas, I probably could have roasted them a little bit longer but I was starving. I'm gonna try to save half the salad for tomorrow. I didn't end up making the mashed potatoes today for lunch. I think I'm gonna save it to eat tomorrow. So I have mashed potatoes and salad. This is really good. Mm. So in case you guys couldn't tell, this is a salad with kale, endive, and Brussels sprouts and chickpeas. And the sauce is made up of tofu, garlic, onion, capers, tamari, mustard, lemon juice, olive oil, and apple cider apple cider vinegar. So it's a pretty simple, clean salad. Um, it's tasty. Yeah, no, this is really good. I really like the added Brussels sprouts. It's got a nice roasted flavor. And the chickpeas, I would assume if I was to roast it longer, would have added a really nice crunch, but I have no patience for that today. Massaging the kale is key, by the way. So definitely do that. It helps break down the leaves better. And they just grab onto the sauce so much better when you massage it. So definitely do that. That's it for today. I am going to smash the salad now and probably edit this video. Last bag is tomorrow. Be ready, be excited, because I am. So I'll see you guys then. It's day four and we're on the last bag and it's the peanut stew, which I'm actually very excited for. I got my peanut stew here. Do you guys all like cilantro? Because I do, and I always load it up. It's a pretty good bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. It's peanutty. It's got nice texture from the tofu and the crunch from the bok choy. This is like comfort food. Warm, cozy, warm flavors. Mm, 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 mm. So if you guys are curious about the sauce, the sauce has peanut butter, onion, garlic, vegetable stock, water, and soy sauce. This is really, really good. I'm super pleased with this um, recipe. I just want to take a moment here and just remind you guys that So I've Got Plants is a very unique food delivery service. They're low waste and they're plant-based. Just to make sure that too just means that your meals are very conscious meals, especially as a food delivery plan. If you do choose to opt in for that week, just like myself, I only opt in when I know I have a busy week. It's just something to consider as a meal plan kit if you are looking for one. If you are going to do a food delivery kit, may as well go with one that's very conscious, very mindful, plant-based and low waste. That way you can feel good about yourself by supporting a small local business and also not making a terrible impact on our planet. So if you go to your, their Instagram right now, currently they have a code that's PLANTSTO and that gives you $20 off of your first order. So feel free and try them out that way and show them some love and support guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.